YouTube. Um, this will be my 27 week pregnancy update. I'm 27 weeks and one day today. Um, some people say that the third trimester starts at 27 weeks, but um, I go by the 28th just to be sure. So I could be my third trimester according to some apps and some doctors, but um, pretty sure my midwife goes with the 28th also, so who knows? I could be in my third trimester, could be 28 weeks third trimester, but regardless, I feel like I'm in my third trimester already. Because um, my uterus has been starting to push up on my ribcage. And uh, it causes kind of discomfort and some aching and pain. And then I gotta try to get comfortable. Um, there's that as one of my symptoms. Um, and also, I can feel that all my. Um, and sorry if I keep fixing my hair. My bag is just. I think it's the way I'm holding my phone and stuff. Um, yeah. My pelvic bone, like, I feel like all my ligaments and stuff is loosening up even more because that's what the HGG hormone does. But as I'm getting closer to giving birth and closer, I guess, to my third trimester, I have been having more pelvic bone pain where it just, I guess it seems more loose because it, it's really... I don't know if it's kind of gross, but that bone cracks, like it sounds like a cracking noise, but it rubs together. Sometimes it's really uncomfortable and it just kind of grosses me out sometimes, but there's that. And when I lay, when I go to sleep or take naps and I'm laying on one side for not e even just a few hours, my hip will start to hurt on that side and I can just feel everything is getting more, I guess more loose like my hips and my pelvic bone and just I guess making more room for when the baby is gonna come um, so sleeping can be kind of uncomfortable I do wake up well my son just started sleeping through the night recently sometimes he does still wake up in the night but yeah excuse me I found that regardless I wake up at least two three times a night Sometimes I don't even have to go to the washroom. Sometimes I do, and it's seriously hard to get out of the bed. Get out of bed, just to go pee. But last night I just kept waking up in the night, and I didn't even have to pee, which is kind of just annoying. I kind of almost wanted to just go pee, hoping that my sleep would get a little bit better, but it didn't. But I still feel pretty good. So um, I'm also looking down at my notes and stuff, and if you're wondering where I'm looking. <laughs> I actually have also pain right here on this bone, right there. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but the pain is when I when I do stuff like if it's picking up my son, sometimes it makes it hurt or just uh, the first time it ever hurt was after I had my son and I wasn't pregnant with this one yet, and uh, I was doing. The Just Dance 4, I was dancing and it was more towards the end of the dance, but then I started to get that pain there, and it's like, I can't even explain it, but it's like your chest and it's like, it just doesn't feel right or feel good, and I think that's also to do with my ligaments and everything loosening up, I think that's where that has come from, I think I just need to strengthen stuff, or get back to normal. After having so many kids, like one after the other pretty much. Um, between my two oldest, there is 21 months apart. And then between my second and my third is 13 and a half months apart. And then between my son and this one will be 12 months or not quite 12 months. Depending if I go early or not. With my son, I went a week and a half early. And so far, it seems like I go earlier and earlier. It could also be because I have my baby so close together that my body is just, I guess, 
I would say not as strong. It would be much easier if it was, you know, you had a few years to get more back to normal so you can be a little more strong and stuff. And I feel like I can't do as much lately. Like, also, I've been having some back pain, but more so my back feels weak. It's the weirdest feeling. I can't even explain it mostly. But my back feels really weak. Like, when... I try to do dishes while well, my back just hurts right away and it's like I feel like I have to make an effort with my back muscles just to keep my stomach up and I still have three months left so I'm getting very concerned about that I'm really hoping that stuff doesn't get worse and I can take care of my kids and I don't be, get put on bed rest because me and my husband have no idea what we would do then because I'm the one that takes care of the kids and I don't really have anybody that can come and help me so that would kind of suck but like my back it doesn't even feel like pain it feels like I guess kind of when you're working out and it's almost the stage before the pain where it's you can really feel your muscles are working but you it's not really painful except when I'm doing dishes for some reason I guess the way I stand it's just makes everything really hard especially excuse me making supper then it's like I'm just shot after making supper usually for lunch it's not that bad because I try to do more so easier meals for me and my girls during the day like sandwiches and stuff like that I actually finally for the past month started me and my girls have started eating whole wheat bread which I'm pretty proud of because white bread is just not healthy at all so I was like I gotta do something to try and add more healthy stuff and so there's that um yeah actually my diet would I'd have to say is not that good I'm trying I have the hardest time drinking water in pregnancy and um because I really don't like water so finally I've decided I just have to push myself to drink water I've been having, because I get blood in my urine so much and stuff, um, it just, my midwife said something about I have, I think, bladder irritability or something like that where there's blood in your urine often or something. Um, yeah, so I just want to kind of keep that away, keep bladder infections away, so I'm going to at least try to drink a liter and a half a day. That's, you know, where I'm trying to start right now for that. I just have to try and push myself and make it like a goal or something. Um, yeah. I think, oh yes, cravings. I finally had some cravings. I don't know why I haven't had much cravings with this baby when in my other pregnancies I've had tons. Well, not pregnant. I've had just, like, cravings all the time. I'm, and it's like now it's like not really anything except lately I've un liked wanted pizza with green peppers onions and mushrooms a lot of people don't like mushrooms and onions and stuff and whatever but I do um, and that's something I've been craving quite a bit which is usually not what I get with on pizzas usually I get ham and pineapple that's my go-to one um, yeah, but lately it's like, that's what I want. It's really weird. Uh, and also, cheese and potato pierogies. I was craving them so bad I had to get some. And I got them with, um, uh, I got sour cream to put on them. That is amazing, but the best thing would have been cream gravy, which, um, I'm Mennonite, so out here we call it schmo fat. Um, <clears throat> Well, I don't know German, but my parents do. So some of the words that, some German words, they actually incorporated into just every little, just, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I think when I was finally 12 years old, I found out that um, what I thought was varsht is actually farmer sausage. So there's, you know, stuff like that. Um... Yeah, so then we call it schmofat. So 
Progies and Schmo Fat, and it's like amazing. Uh, but then I have to try and make the Schmo Fat nicely. Usually, I feel like I don't do that good of a job, so you know, I kind of still got to get into the making. Well, because me and my husband have been married for three years, and for cooking and stuff, I pretty much started once I got married. So I still have to learn more about cooking and stuff, and um, I'm not too bad, so that's good. But yeah, that's my cravings. Um, I don't think there has been anything else as far as I remember, but of course I'll probably forget something. Um, and I will remember a belly shot. I just remembered that. Um, yeah, but I am. Oh, my weight gain. Oh yes, I recently weighed myself. Um, I'm 178 now, which, um, it upsets me because I was that full term with my, um, my last baby, and I was really hoping not to put so much weight on this pregnancy, because I started, oh, what did I start at? Oh, 154. Started 154. I've gained 24 pounds so far. So, uh, so I'm like 27 weeks. I just messed up my hair. My mom's a hairdresser, and I went to cosmetology. So when I see my hair all messed up, it kind of bothers me sometimes. I'm not as bad as my mom though, because she'll she'll actually fix my hair for me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm 27 weeks and have gained 24 pounds. I really need to try to get a better diet and really try to keep off all that weight or like from gaining all that weight because well actually I don't know exactly how my body is getting off weight because with my first before I had her I was underweight I was a hundred pounds and then after well I gained a hundred fifty not hundred fifty I went up to 151 or so, or 152 with her, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, and then I only got back down to 120. Yeah, excuse me. And then when I got pregnant with my second, I was 120. So I, I kept that 20 pounds, but at the time I thought it was I was so big because I was so used to this such a small body, but I realized after keep having kids and gaining weight I realized I was tiny still then and uh, it's just I guess I don't know how exactly my body will lose the weight because after I had my second it was like four and a half months and I was pregnant early and then after my third three and a half months and I was pregnant again so I haven't had much time to lose weight so I'm a little concerned on how that's gonna go after I have the baby because this is going to be our mine and my husband's last baby we because I'll actually try and make a video on that on why we decided what we decided and who's getting fixed and all that I think I'll do that video next actually okay well thank you for watching hope you all have a great day